Now, deep learning is a subset of the machine learning. It's a specific domain using neural network inside, and this is what everybody here is talking about. It's, it's only one part of the big picture. What is the world's top deep learning processor? Biran Ba, director of product marketing from an AI chip maker company, Hilo, will tell us more about it. What is their operation per watt? It means how many horsepower you can have in one watt. Because you care about, in edge devices, you care about the power consumption. But in that one watt, you care to have as much as power, as much as horsepower. So, existing to, uh, solution today, without naming, but all of them, are based on traditional uh, architecture, what we call Van Neumann architecture. What it means? It means that there is a centralized uh, one block of memory outside. There is a central bus that everything goes inside. There is a lot of things in, uh, in it. So, when we claim we are not one of those technologies, it means we don't have any external memory, the memory and the control is distributed inside in a very efficient way inside, resulting a very uh, the most efficient Terra operation per watt. For example, if we take a look at the existing solution, they provide up to 0.3 Terra operation per watt. In the Halo 8, and it's not theoretical, it's measured, we provide around 3 tops per watt. It means you are able to process much more with the same power. So, therefore, it's the most efficient one out there in the market. Of course, there is a lot of other technologies that uh, are the the theoretical sounds great, but we are very proud that in our case, we have this device available. In other case, it's kind of theoretical uh, technologies that still need to be proven, and I hope for them to be successful, but this is already existing. Why call it AI chip maker? Why AI? AI is a broader way of, uh, this is the ultimate goal of artificial intelligence. And people usually uh, mix between AI, machine learning, and deep learning. Yeah. They are using it in different way. AI is the ultimate goal where we want to be. So the computer will know to learn by themselves and make decisions by themselves. In, and if they face a problem, they will be able to solve them. But this is artificial intelligence. Again, this is the ultimate goal. We are not there. Then you have the machine learning, which is subset of the AI. Machine learning, it means the ability of machine to learn without specifically uh, writing a code. So this is a subset of the AI. Now, deep learning is a subset of the machine learning. It's a specific domain using neural network inside, and this is what everybody here is talking about. It's, it's only one part of the big picture. So we are calling it an AI company, so this is where we want to be. But the first product, we call it Halo 8 Deep Learning Processor. So we make it more accurate to the market, while others are mixing kind of the terminology Tell me the future plan of Hilo Beast. Of the? Oh, uh, the future plan of your company. Of the company. So the company has this Halo 8, already sampled by some of the customer in different area. And the solution is very, very scalable. It means it can go up or down for different. IoT require different uh, power consumption and price point. Other devices require even more. So without going into the details of our roadmap, we can assure you that we are scalable uh, in terms of the product. We can offer a very good performance and price point for IoT and also for others. So we have a long uh, way to go and let's talk next year. You will see what we are doing. Thanks for watching Dukescopy TV. This is Yin Wang. I'll catch you up next time.